baked goods fresh from the oven. Come and get them. God grant you health. God be with you. Good health to you. Greetings. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. You just made it. I can still enroll you, but at first you'll have to pay the entrance date. Of course. Here you are. I'll write your name down. Henry, you said. And I need to know what weapon you choose. Short sword and shield, definitely. Good. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. See you later. Entering the arena now will be Henry of Skullets from the company of Sir Radzik Kobla. And his adversary will be Pavel, called Roebuck, from the garrison of Sir Sebastian von Berg. Welcome, our warriors! The combatants have entered the arena and the first duel may commence. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. time to choose weapons for the next duel. The combatants will engage in a duel with war hammers and shields. Second jewel, he is Henry of Scallops. 
He is hereby declared the victor in this round and shall proceed to the next round. Meeting face to face in this round will be Stephen of the Voretz, spearman in the company of Sir Radzik Kobilar. And his adversary will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzik Kobilar. Let us wish the combatants luck. The combatants have entered the arena and the first duel may commence. Our confidence will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. in this round and shall proceed to the next round. Meeting face to face in this round will be Bowman Richard from the garrison of Sir Divish of Tamburg. And his adversary will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Rante Kobler. Welcome, our warriors! All is prepared for the first duel. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. Round is Henry 
Change weapons for the second bout. The combatants will engage in a duel with war hammers and shields. <laughs> has chosen the weapons for the third duel. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. <laughs> You have just witnessed the final duel in today's Ratai Tournée, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Skullets, man at arms in the company of Sir Ratzik Kobila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush.
I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Provislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Uh, that is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fact what? I don't give a fact what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Kurva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... ...worth. Mm. Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhoyed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhoyed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Is something the matter? You did it in the end, Henry. No doubt you're well satisfied. And I'm sure you'll be happy with this prize. I well, certainly am, my lord. Thank you, sir. Take care. Greetings, Henry. I hear you on the Rat Eye Tourney. Well done, lad. May I be of service, my lord? Yes, Henry. Chief Engineer Fafar has been asking for someone reliable to assist him. The Chief Engineer? Is it about Scalets? 
In a manner of speaking. Master Fayfor has, well, evil forebodings. I think he may want to send you to the Scarlet's Mines. Can they really be restored? Everything can be rebuilt with enough will and resources. Well, everything except the man. You'll get the details from Chief Engineer Fayfar. For the time being, consider yourself his handyman. Certainly. Where do I find him? Is he here in the castle? Where? Now that's a good question. He ought to be somewhere at Perkstein unless he's gone off to deal with some problem or other. Look around. You're bound to run into him. Well, thank you. I'll go and see him straight away. Good luck, Hal. See you later. <laughs> Greetings. What do you need? Sir, can I ask you about something? Of course, Henry. Well, I thought since we chased the bandits out of Pribislavitz, the roads would be safer. Ah, criticizing your liege lord, are you? And what, in your opinion, should he do about it? Oh no, I don't mean anything by it. Just that it surprises me. <laughs> Easy, lad. I'm only pulling your leg. You're quite right. The roads really aren't safe. Mostly due to one thing. My garrison is a shamble these days. I lost most of my men in Skalitz, and what I'm left with after Pribislavitz is hardly enough even to guard Pigstein. Let alone guarding the roads and patrolling the rest of the province. I simply don't have the men. Uh-huh. I understand. That is, I didn't have the men. As it happens, you've come at just the right time. Recently, I asked an old acquaintance for help. Sir Kuno of Rickwald and his mercenary band. The men who ride with him are a rough lot, mostly former convicts, but they're as capable as any squad of soldiers. Excuse me for being so bold, but there's plenty of mercenaries around. Surely you can find a more... respectable band? You have a point, lad, but I'd like to tell you I talked to Kuno because I trust him. But actually my reasons are of a more pragmatic nature. You see, Kuno owes me a favor, so he'll serve me free of charge. So, you want me to join them? Yes, but that's not all. I told Kuno I'd send him a guide, but really what I need is for someone to keep a close eye on him and his men. Someone reliable. And I'd say you fit the part. Go and report to him at his encampment. You'll ride with his band on patrols and make sure they don't get too... disorderly. Who is this Sir Kuno of Rickwald? He's the last baron of the house of Rickwald, which became impoverished. So he took to the mercenary trade, like many poor noblemen do. Unless they become robbers, which often isn't all that different. He's certainly an entertaining companion, but as a mercenary? Well, let's just say he has his own particular approach to certain matters. That sounds a little worrying. Oh, it's nothing too bad. Just that now and again he needs reminding not to step over the line. How is he indebted to you? I did him quite a big service, actually. I saved him from the hangman. Oh, sounds like quite a story. How did it happen? You should ask him. You'll be spending quite a while riding together, so it'll help pass the time. But one thing I can tell you, he seems to have taken inspiration from me. A lot of his men had their own encounters with the Executioner, too. All right. I'll go and report to him. Excellent. He set up camp between Ratai and Ledechko. It's a good base for covering the province. Good luck, Henry. And watch out for yourself. I will, sir. Thanks. See you later. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Any work for me here, by any chance? That depends. How's your hearing? What? I said, how's your hearing? It's perfectly fine. You don't have to scream at me. I mean, why are you asking? Because there is this one little job going. But I need someone who knows the area well and has good ears. I ought to be able to handle that. Fine. So here's the problem. My friend is a birder, and he left a few rare nightingales with me for safekeeping. They're good to trade. Rich gentlemen hang them caged up in their chambers. 
It keeps their wives from fretting when they're off drinking and wenching. I see. The trouble is, the nightingales are gone. I don't know how, but the birds have flown. Hang on, surely you're not asking me to go flapping around looking for birds? Not exactly. Luckily, their wings are clipped, so they won't be far, and the watchman in the tower told me they headed off toward Brannock. I have traps prepared. It should be easy enough to catch them in those. Fine, but how will I know where to put the traps? I hear they like pine woods, and there's a pine-covered hill just before Brannock. Right, a bloody great wood. That's just why you need to listen out. Nightingales have a distinctive song. When you hear it close by, you set a trap on the spot. They kept twittering away the whole time they were here, so I can remember the tunes. I'll sing them to you. I can't wait. It went something like this. What? People keep birds like that in their houses. It's like the sound a cat makes when you pull it by the tail. You know how it is. The gentry's got all manner of odd tastes. The question is, can you remember it? Yes, I'll remember. Right, here are the traps. Don't forget, once you hear a nightingale, set a trap nearby. He ought to be caught in it after a while. I'll do that. See you later. <laughs> My humble greetings. Grant you hell. Good luck then. Greetings. What business have you? Are you Chief Engineer Fayfar? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? Sir Radzig sent me to be of service to you. Ah. I'm glad to hear it. It's high time we started putting things to rights. There's been quite enough dithering. How can I help with these, um, evil forebodings of yours? Hm. Sir Radzik may make light of it, but a large quantity of silver has been discovered hereabouts. And no one is guarding the Skullet's mines, the most likely source. You really think someone could be stealing the silver from the mines? I would have thought that would be quite the job, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Which is why I'd like you to go and check out not only the mine gallery, but also the yard with the smelter and the waterworks. See what kind of state it's all in, and if anything looks suspicious. Is that the yard next to the Scallet's mill? That's the one. I don't know what state it's in now. There used to be a stock of charcoal and smelted silver there. A silver store? Could there really be any left? I doubt it. I'd be surprised if it was still standing at all. You said mine gallery? Just one. Boy, there's such a maze there that it would take a week to crawl through the place. There's only one gallery I'm interested in, at the foot of the hill by a small fish pond. Why just that one? Because I was expecting to find a scene there. 
All the indications pointed to it. So if anyone is stealing silver, it'll be right there. What about these waterworks? What's there? A stamping mill and washing troughs. They're on the bend in the river below the castle. You can't miss them. There are big tanks and equipment all around. Should I be expecting trouble, then? Well, I definitely wouldn't treat the job like a visit to church on Sunday. You could find yourself facing that pack of hungry dogs trailing the army. Or a band of brigands. I see. Well, you and Saradza can rely on me. Oh, I'd say there's real grounds for your forebodings. I heard from one Scalitz miner that someone may have found something there and didn't report it. I knew it. That bastard Namoy and his cronies. Christ above. I want a lot of them clapped in irons. A lot of them? How many are there? A dozen? Two dozen? How am I to arrest them all? Yes, yes. You're quite right. It'll be enough to take Nemoy. He's a serpent leading the others on the path of evil. So I should look in the mine, and if anyone's there and I find Nemoy, I should bring him to you in irons. Exactly. But proceed with caution. The punishment for stealing the king's silver is burning at the stake. Those people will be capable of anything of cornered, even murder. That's all clear. I'll get going. Take care. Yeah.
Looks like they smashed things up nicely. Answer to my prayer. No! Hey. Yeah. Hey, the answer to my prayers, just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone.
This is in surprisingly good condition. This doesn't look too bad. I guess those bastards didn't want to get soaked. Seems they had a good go at wrecking this, but it's still standing.
Hot, what do you want? I'm here by order of Sir Radzig and Master Fayfar. And who are you? I... who am I? I'm keeping guard here so no rogues get in to steal the silver. That's very commendable. I'll take you to Master Fayfar so he can reward you. But I... I can't go anywhere. Who would stand watch if I left my post? Yeah. Yeah. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. What are you doing here? What do you mean? Why are you lurking round here instead of going home? We are home. We live here. But Sir Radzig led all the survivors away from here. Those who lived around the castle, maybe. But the mine shafts here are packed with dead bodies. Why are you here? Maybe because some... And are they doing... They're getting by. We get by here. So why go and rely on the charity of strangers? What's happened here? They raided the place. Haven't you heard? But that was weeks ago. What of it? Nobody's come back so far, and we can't keep the place running on our own. May the Lord watch over you. Thank you. 
go to prison. What's a woman doing here with all these men? Why shouldn't I be? I'm as scared to stick my nose outside as any man. You could all take refuge in Sasa or Ratoy. And what if something happens to us along the way? What if we run into a pack of cutthroats? What then? But that could... Besides, the rest of them will have to come back here eventually. The mines can't stand idle forever. We'll make do here until then. Where's your husband? What do you want of him? I want to ask him what's going on here. Well then you'd best start praying. He got killed when they stormed Scarlet's. Oh, um, uh, I'm very sorry. So am I. He was a good man. So you'll have to make do with asking me. What's been happening here? Apart from us losing everything, living in fear of sticking our noses outside and waiting for folk to come back again. Uh, yes? Nothing. So why didn't you say that straight away? Why should I? You bluff your way in here and start asking questions like you own the place, and it never crosses your mind you might not be welcome. But I'm only... Only what? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, perhaps you didn't. But nothing ever happens here. If anyone hears anything, we run and hide like rabbits. And otherwise, we just sit on our asses. What are you doing here? Why are you so interested? Sir Radzig sent me here to look around. Radzig, eh? Well, what do you know? And you're going to take a look at the mine? Or are you looking for people? Well, Master Fayfar asked me to look the place over. Master my ass, A dolt, that's what he is. They leave the folk here, and no one so much as comes to check on them. But when it comes to silver, they send their men at once. Well, he probably assumed everyone was killed, or, or they'd fled. Lovely thought, that is. A few of them did die, mind, waiting for someone to turn up. It's not that straightforward. Our people are scattered all over, some without food or shelter. And Sir Radzig is doing his best to take care of them. But no one takes care of us. We have to take care of ourselves. That's because no one knew about you. How could they, when you're so well hidden? It's as if you didn't want anyone to find you. But you found us. Because I set out to leave no stone unturned here. Otherwise, I might have missed you too. Goodbye. Yeah. <sighs> 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 
Hey, what do we got here? Entertainment. Great. The arm! Get over here! Hey, all of Yeah! Yeah! It's too deep here.
pushed him down the shaft. If you hadn't come sniffing around, none of this would have happened. What's my being here got to do with it? What the fuck's been going on? Whatever it is, now you've got a murder to answer for. Only if someone finds out. I'm here by order of Sir Radzig and Master Fafar. Stealing the King's silver will get you burned at the stake. Nobody's been stealing any silver here. We'll see about that soon enough. But if I were you, I'd make a run for it before I get out of here. I don't intend to go chasing across the province after anyone. Ha! <laughs> you should be more worried when I'm coming looking for you. So why don't you just stand there a while? I'm going to enjoy this. I'll fight. Can't hide from me. Bring it on. God, weak in the knees, have you? Yeah! 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 
someone there. What did you say? What did you fucking say? You, you fucking sodomite! Gone. <laughs> Could have fixed. Yeah! 
Yeah. <laughs> the Lord be praised. What brings you to me? I'm here about the mine. Excellent. So what did you find out? It's been plundered and wrecked, but everything can be fixed. It'll be quite a job, but at least it won't have to be rebuilt from scratch. That's a weight off my mind. And did you see anyone there? Thieves or suspicious types? Nemoy and his gang were stealing silver there. The vermin. I thought as much. Did you bring him here? Well, I tried to, but he was having none of it. He didn't want to burn, so he tried to kill me. Well, I'm glad he didn't succeed. But now I won't be able to find out anything. Oh well, can't be helped, I suppose. About my reward for the investigation? Yes, of course. Actually, I don't believe any reward was mentioned. On the other hand, you've surveyed everything as I asked, and that deserves a groschen or two. And they tried to murder me? Yes, of course. It's a sad world we live in. I'm sure you deserve a little extra coin. It's been a pleasure. Good. There you go, then. A nice little sum. Thank you. Enjoy it in good health. Take care. Maju obrovna ne červe Thank <laughs> you. 